Yesterday, a court in Meghalaya's West Garo Hills district remanded BJP leader Bernard N. Marak to six days' police custody in a case related to explosive materials found in his farmhouse from where he was accused of running a sex racket. Marak, a former militant leader, was arrested in Uttar Pradesh on July 29th on the charge of operating a sex racket. On Wednesday, the court of a chief judicial magistrate in Tura had sent him to 14-day judicial custody. However, he was arrested again from the district jail on Wednesday night in the case under the Explosive Substances Act. When produced before the court, it sent him to police remand again. The police have said that a total of 35 gelatine sticks and 100 detonators, 4 crossbows and 15 arrows were seized from the farmhouse. The Northeast Frontier Railway or NFR has recovered a staggering amount of 35.71 crore rupees from ticketless travellers during ticket checking drives conducted between January and July of this year. During the period, as many as 15,213 ticket-checking drives were conducted by the NFR and over 4.98 lakh passengers travelling without or on an irregular ticket were detected and an amount of 35.71 crore rupees was received as penalty and excess fare. Yesterday, a unique and first-of-its-kind joint civilian army cycling expedition comprising 75 participants was flagged off from Assam's Thakurbari village in Sonitpur district. The cycling expedition, organised by the Gajaraj Corps of the Indian Army, will culminate at Balemu village in Arunachal Pradesh's West Cumming district on Saturday. Personnel of the Sahastra Seema Bal or SSB in the Tibetan Border Police or ITBP, civil administrations of Assam and Arunachal Pradesh and local cycling enthusiasts of both states have taken part in the expedition. Yesterday, Tripura Chief Minister Manik Shaha asserted that the BJP would secure victory in 50 out of 60 assembly seats in the state in 2023 elections. BJP had bagged an absolute majority by securing 36 seats, while its ally Indigenous People's Front of Tripura or IPFT won 8 seats in the 2018 assembly polls. Claiming that the BJP is a far superior political party with 17 crore members across the country, Shah said that the CPIM, Congress and Srinamul Congress are shadows of each other and voters are determined to show them the door once again. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.